Hello and welcome to Baki Gaming and this is the Sims 4 tutorial how to resize objects. Like most of you already know it's possible to enlarge objects in game by using the close bracket key after enabling the move objects on cheat. It's also possible to shrink them back down to normal size after that, but sometimes you want items to shrink even more. In this tutorial I will show you how to do that using the Sims 4 Studio and Blender. Links to both programs can be found down below in the description. Start by opening the Sims 4 Studio, then fill in your creator name if you haven't already done so. After that go to the object section, select create 3D mesh and click the object button. In the next window we are going to select the object we are going to resize. In this case it's the bunny statue. To easily find it go to the search bar and type 2F27 into it. Then select the bunny and click on next. Now give it a name and click on save to make it into its own package file. Now give your object a name, a description and change the price if you want. After that click the meshes tab. Now export all meshes that you will see after clicking the drop down menu. The first will be object meshes and could be high, medium and low. The difference could be seen in game when zooming in or out. The more you zoom out the less detailed the mesh will become. The other meshes will be the shadow meshes, these will not be visible in game, but cast a shadow for your object outdoors. To export them, just select one and click the export button. Then name it and click on save. Do the same for both the object as the shadow meshes. I do have to say that it's also possible to make shadow meshes from the object meshes, but as I want to keep this tutorial as simple as possible, we're going to use these right here. Now open the folder where you save them and double click the blender file of the LOD0 high object mesh to open it in blender. Now in blender first drag this line to the left to make your screen a bit bigger. You can use your scroll wheel up and down to zoom in and to zoom out. You can press your middle mouse button to rotate around your object. To strafe across the scene hold down shift and press your middle mouse button so it will look like this. Now use these techniques to get your object shown as this. Now before we're going to change this mesh, remember that you can press Ctrl Z to undo previous steps if you did something wrong. Also press the N key to open the transform toolbox. To resize this object, first right click the bunny and after that press and hold shift while right clicking the flat white mesh too. When both meshes are selected, press the S key on your keyboard and move your mouse to resize this object or use numbers. If you want to make your object one time as big as it is now then after pressing the S key press the number 2 key on your keyboard followed by a left click on your mouse or enter to accept the changes. When looking at the scaling section you will see that all numbers changed from 1.000 to 2.000. Now press Ctrl Z to undo our previous step. If you want to shrink your object by half its size, then first select the bunny and shift select the flat white mesh. Then press the S key and press 0.5 and after that the left mouse button or enter again. The numbers in the scaling section change to 0.500. When only using your mouse without the numbers, those numbers will change too. You will have to copy or write down the numbers after you resize your object as we need those exact same numbers for the other meshes too. In this tutorial I will shrink the bunny by half its size. So after pressing the S key I use 0.5 to shrink it and then left mouse button to accept the changes. After that I go to file and save as. Now give it a new name and after that press enter twice. Now do the same for the other meshes, so go to file, click open, select the medium mesh, click open, select both the bunny and the flat white mesh, press S, press 0.5, press your left mouse button or enter to accept the changes, go to file and go to save as, make a new name new and press enter twice. For the shadow meshes you will only see the bunny and not the flat white mesh underneath it, but the way to shrink it down will remain the same. 
I shrink down both the object and shadow meshes, close Blender and go back to Studio. For all the people that resize their objects by only using their mouse, those people will have to copy these numbers right here in the scale section and then paste those numbers on exact the same spot in the other blend files. Then give those blend files a new name, save them and go back to Studio. Back in Studio, import your new meshes by first selecting the original mesh, then click Import, then select the right new mesh and click on Open. After that, do the same for the medium object mesh, the high shadow mesh and the medium shadow mesh. Then after that, as this object already got the smallest footprint possible, you don't need to use the adjust footprint to fit mesh button. After you've done all of this, click save and move your package file into your mods folder to test it out in game. Now to easily find them in game, type a part of the name, in this case bunny, into the search bar. As you can see, I made a custom thumbnail for it too. A tutorial about how to easily do this will be made soon and will be added to the video's description. Now look at those cute little bunnies. This tutorial is part of my 1000 subscriber special, together with 3 other tutorials and one custom content video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and share it so more people will be able to find it. If you got any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. Don't want to miss any future tutorials, custom content videos or effect player episodes, then please subscribe and hope to see you next time here on Baggy Gaming. Now look at those cute little bunnies. Now look at those cute little bunnies. Now look at those cute little bunnies. Look at those cute little bunnies, man. Right.